Hi everyone, this is my response to Mr. Super Chippy's nomination for the I'm a Wargamer video series that seems to be going around at the moment. Um, so thanks to Mr. Super Chippy for that. Uh, I'll go through my questions and then my nominations and well, yeah, that'll be about it. So um, what inspired me to do YouTube? So the first time, first videos I did were for the Warboss Tay painting challenge. I just bought the Zombicide Black Plague set at Salute and so I wanted to do a sort of a vlog series on that so I started doing a couple of videos and I'd already done a blog um, and it was a lot of effort it was a lot of typing a lot of trying to upload pictures and trying to upload pictures on blogger you have one picture here and you have one picture here and you can't get them to match up or be in the right place it was an absolute nightmare so I joined what my wargaming life which was much easier but again it was still very much uploading a couple of pictures at a time when really I wanted to have a bigger look at the units I'd done. Um, the next question is where do you want your channel to go and to be honest I like everyone else has said so far I don't really want it to go anywhere um, we're not in the sort of hobbies or video category which is going to make you a superstar I'm not going to start getting um, 100 million views I'm not going to go viral unless I do something really stupid like fall off my chair and break break my neck or something like that and but that's not going to happen so I'm I'm happy with where my channel is at the moment um, it still almost feels weird calling it a channel it's more a case of I'm just filming some stuff I've done and uploading it to YouTube this is the first time I've had the camera facing this way as well so it's a bit weird but um, where can I see my channel going in five years time well this is quite good for me because at the moment I'm living with my girlfriend and we're saving to buy a house and we're hoping to have somewhere by next year if we're lucky and we've already had the discussion um, because we're in London we've got to move outside of London to be able to afford anything I don't mind that so two bedrooms or three bedrooms so the obvious answer is three bedrooms so that I can have a room for wargaming seems fair to me um, but I don't think she quite realises what she's got into I've at the moment I've got a couple of few boxes with my stuff in but as soon as I'm given the space I'd like to get some cabinets I'd like to get some um, room for a table I'd like to get some scenery so I'd like to think that in five years time I'll be able to do more than just painting models I'll be able to actually have some showing off terrain maybe that I've done some boards not nothing huge just for myself but I'm hoping that in five years time I've got more stuff to show off and more room to store it because the thing that holds me back at the moment is the fact that everything I've got is stored on top of a wardrobe <clears throat> so any advice for setting up a YouTube channel not really I mean you can tell the difference between people who spend a lot of money on their production and who don't but those are the people who probably have sponsors and who have um, people who are willing to um, give them discounted products to show off or free products to show off um, cameras, lighting and that sort of stuff um, the only thing I would say and this is only the probably the third or fourth video I've done since buying this bit of kit is but get a, a tripod of some description I started off doing videos by holding the camera in my hand and it was fine but it wasn't until I uploaded it that I realised the quality was a lot poorer because the camera couldn't quite focus because you're trying to hold the camera with one hand and trying to do something with the other it doesn't really work that well um, especially the video I did on the blue stuff uh, trying to do that whilst holding a camera was almost impossible so I just bought a cheap one from I think it's called like Flying Tiger or something like that it's like a it's either Swedish Norwegian or something it's a shop that we have over here in the UK it's just a load of random crap really it's like when you get to Ikea at the end and they've got the baskets and boxes of just junk basically like that um, so what would I add to improve the YouTube community I think it would be nice to have a better sort of like categorization system I'm not saying that you should use like hashtags or things like that but a way of sectioning the YouTube community more just so that people can find what they're looking for so you can search things and it throws up all sorts of random junk like I searched when I first got into um, wargaming really 
I started watching people on YouTube. So I was watching um, Pancake, Mr. Super Chippy, and uh, Ringo, Von Ketteringham, all those sort of people. And when I would search something like black powder, trying to find something Napoleonic, I found a ridiculous amount of videos of Americans making um, black powder out of urine, which was interesting, but still not what wasn't what I was looking for. So if you're able to, I suppose in a way, like you do eBay, you search something and you can filter it down through the sections of what you actually want. That would be much better. Um, so my nominations, I'm going to do um, four. Um, three I know um, are guys who watch my videos. And the fourth is more of a hopeful one, trying to get this to go out further. So the first one is um, Marksman Gaming. Um, he does a lot of um, Civil War, Napoleonic stuff. I think mostly in... Um, 172 second scale from what I can see but he's always got loads of videos that are easy to watch and you can just sit back and relax and watch them um, the next is um, Bedroom Railway and um, recently I think over the last um, month or so he's been doing um, Napoleonic stuff whereas before it was mainly railways which again if I had room for that I'd have one of them but I don't think I'd ever get room for that the final one is um, Walkabout Games, who seems to have had a channel for a couple of years but has recently started doing more videos. Um, in particular as well, he's started doing Napoleonic stuff as well as some modern work. Um, the final channel um, that I'd like to nominate is the Great British Hobbit League. Now, whether they ever see this video or not, I don't know. But it would be great to have them in on board because it's thanks to them. I've been doing a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff recently. But it's thanks to them and their commitment to the game, the models, um, the rules and everything like that, that Games Workshop have started to look again at The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. They almost abandoned it and a lot of things went out of production, but it's the commitment these people have had, the tournaments they've arranged, um, the videos they're constantly putting out, the battle reports, um, that something which is quite old is getting a lot of love again. And it's good, I mean, it's the first game I've played properly ever and I've got to admit I'm hooked on it now it's simple, it's quick, it's fun as long as you don't get beaten as much as I do but still it's it's good fun so I'd like to think, I'd like to see them do one because they do a lot of YouTube videos and they're, I'd probably say, more at the semi-professional level um, rather than amateur like myself so it'd be great to see them do something like this um, whether these people have been nominated before or not I don't know so if you have already then why haven't you done one? But still. So um, thanks everyone for watching, and thanks to uh, Mr. Super Chippy again for the nomination. And I'll um, speak to you all soon. Cheers.